Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To handle terminated employees, click the Employees link in the navigation bar. In the Employees page, click the name of the terminated employee to open their Employee Details page. Then click the pencil icon by the Employment section in the Employee Details page to open the Employees page and show their employment information. Click the Status drop-down and select the Terminated Choice. After selecting the Terminated Choice, a Show in Non-Payroll Lists checkbox appears. Check this checkbox if you want the employee to continue appearing in your non-payroll lists. A Termination Date field also appears next to the Higher Date field below that. Enter the date of termination into the Termination Date field. Then click the Done button in the lower right corner of the page to save the changes and close the page. To adjust how the employee list appears in the Employees page, click the drop-down next to Active Employees to choose an option. The options are Active Employees, Inactive Employees, and All Employees. QuickBooks Online Plus saves terminated employee data for a full year to ensure tax submissions and reports are accurate. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.